Now, here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Cozart. 12-11 on this Thursday. It's been a rainy one across Acadiana, gloomy with these dark gray skies, and it's been raining. Fortunately, a lot of the rainfall has been light to moderate, so that's going to ease the flash flooding threats across Acadia. I think we still have some bouts of heavier rains coming for possibly tonight and through the day tomorrow, mostly along the coast, but we're not out of the woods completely yet with the flood threat here in Acadia. So let's take a look at our Sky 10 camera network from Opelousas to Lafayette here, and we have a new one on Johnston Street. As you can see, the roadway is still wet and we are still tracking some light rains, but fortunately again, nothing that's too heavy. The clouds of the rainfall really holding temperatures down for early September. We're sitting in the upper 70s. Some muggy conditions make it feel like 81 degrees. So temperatures hover here in the 70s, the lower 80s. That's the case this evening. More showers, more storms. I think what's going to happen here is the intensity of the rainfall may go up and down over the next really 36 hours or so. Most of the rainfall won't end here until Friday. Friday evening. So there is a flood watch still in place here. I 10 and coastal regions this is just like what the flash flood watches used to be. They generalize the watches there now. So our main concern would be localized flash flooding. But looking at the storm team 10 radar here this afternoon, we're getting some breaks, which we definitely need in the rainfall. Some moderate rains are starting to come back in across Vermilion Bay, working their way into Vermilion and Iberia Parish. Some moderate to heavier rains are embedded here across Opelousas and parts of St. Landry Parish. Some breaks now in Lafayette and then more moderate to heavier rains just down to the south. This is just going to be the case. What we have going on here, yeah, we're trying to get a surface load trying to develop there back down to the southwest. Don't be overly concerned with this. National Hurricane Center has a very, very slim chance this develops into anything tropical, but the forecast remains the same as we continue to see a chance of rain rather high. Not only this afternoon, tonight and through the day tomorrow, not until we get to Friday evening around 6 to 7 o'clock will these rain chances finally ease up here and the system kicks off to the east. So next 24, 36 hours or so, we could pick up an additional three to six inches of rainfall. The higher totals would be across our coastal regions. And then as we get into the weekend, everything really improves. We're still looking at that strong front on Saturday, giving us fall like weather and some really nice conditions Sunday and Monday. So it'll be worth it. We just have to get through this next uh, 36 to 48 hour period. Really temperatures going into the mid to upper 70s right now, holding pretty steady. Clouds and rainfall really holding those temperatures down for this time of year and the dew points are high, so it doesn't feel the best outside. It's pretty muggy, pretty sauna like. There's your temperature trend, as I mentioned, hovering here in the 70s, possibly lower 80s. As we zoom out on the satellite and radar, the swirls somewhere around here it's hard to really pinpoint, which is a good thing to if it's hard or difficult to pinpoint the circulation, then this uh, this is still a very disorganized, weak system. Uh, that circulation will continue to work off to the east, but you can see the heavier rains closer to that uh, center of circulation. So that would be our only concern as that moves closer to, let's say, those uh, offshore or onshore, those uh, coastal regions. They may get some of the heavier rains there. National Hurricane Center given a long shot that this would become a de uh, depression possibly a weak tropical storm, but again, I'm not really buying that either. Light to moderate, steadier rains continue this afternoon and through tonight with some breaks in there. Notice tomorrow morning again, that would be our only concern here is if that center circulation nudges a little bit closer to our coastal regions, there will be some heavier rains in there, possibly some gustier winds as well as that continues to track off to the east. There's 7 p.m. tomorrow. Most of the activity now kicking off to the eastern side of the state and away from Acadiana, and then we await the arrival of a cold front that should knock everything off to the east and south as well. So uh, those rainfall totals, I think the northern half of Acadiana could pick up an additional one to three inches, five to eight inches, definitely possible here across our coastal regions. If you need to cut the grass Saturday, Sunday, Monday will look pretty good. There's a quick look at your seven day forecast, clearing breezy Saturday, fall like weather Sunday, Monday, but more humidity and some isolated rain chances back Tuesday. And on your Wednesday, that's a look at your forecast. We're going to be back in a few minutes.